Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials. So in previous video, I talked about contentscript.js uh, that runs in a specific tab uh, that is opened on your browser. Now in this video, I'll talk about uh, background.js. So let's reload this extension and you can see API refer uh, so the background is still blue because uh, you if you watch my previous video you see like in content script.js I did this document.body.style background color is blue so I'll just comment it out or like every page I open it's gonna turn the body into color blue oh, okay reload the extension and I think it's gonna be removed okay so it's removed so what is background script background script runs on the context uh, of the browser you are using uh, in this case this is chrome extension so uh, i'm using chrome browser uh, like uh, the two script i explained before content script it runs on a specific tab if you close that tab that script finishes popup.js it runs on that popup if you close that popup that um, script like stop running and this uh, background script if I go into this uh, manifest.json in this version 3 of manifest uh, this is known as service worker this background script.js so this background script runs on the background of your browser like if you're uh, having any events in your browser like opening a new tab closing a tab or like act activating a tab uh, bookmarking some website everything's gonna be listened by the background script background script can do the things that content script and uh, popup.js can't so i'll just show you a few example and uh, like let's show you where, where actually the script runs if i just put some console.log i i am background script i am background script so it's auto saved now i'll reload it and if i open inspect this tab you see i'm content script and there's no message like this one that i'm background script because it doesn't run on the tab it runs as a service worker so when you uh, see the extension there is the option service worker right so when you click that you see the console and i'm background script this runs here now i'll show you a few things that you can do like pretty basic stuff this one like i already coded everything here so that i don't have to type everything and you don't need to remember this also you can fight it on api references because background script is using chrome apis right so api references you're gonna find everything here tabs this one i'm using here chrome tabs you can find it from like there's a list right there is tabs so that's everything you can find here and if i do like uncomment this chrome.tabs.onCreated at listener so you can guess what's happening here on created at listener like when a new tab is created it's listening and printing the tab details here like this is the callback function and the console output will be the tab details so let's see if it works so i'm creating a new tab and i'll go to that service worker Okay, I need to reload and open the service worker and create a new tab and then I'll check it if it's working. See, it's working. And all the details of the tab is printed here. You can keep on creating new tab like opening a new tab and you're gonna see that it's listed here. See everything, the URL and stuff. So next one is i'll comment this out next one is on activated if like the previous one was when i create a new tab and this one is like when the tab is already there and you just activating it activating means uh, let me first reload the extension and activating means these tabs those are already open right i'm just clicking means i'm activating so i'll see some activities here see object there are lots of objects created window id tab id is printed here because i'm printing it the next one is about bookmarks it can listen to if there's a bookmark created or something like that like you can see on created so for that we need to add that bookmark permission on the uh, permissions of manifest.json so bookmarks this is the permission 
and it can now listen to the if you create any bookmarks so it takes that callback function and inside that callback function there's two values id of that bookmark and that bookmark information i'll just print those two here id and console.log bookmark let's now reload the extension open the service worker and you see background script is running and if i just this api references if i just bookmark this page done i can see like yeah bookmark is added uh, api references is the title of the bookmark url of the bookmark and everything so that's how you can use the background script.js to listen to all the events and stuff i'm gonna explain this one in next videos the context menu this is one cool thing also uh, next video will be on that so there are lots of cool things you can do using that background script and chrome api and the documentation is always there to help you with all the stuff and next videos i'll uh, like show you what's the use like how can you listen to the events and affect the page or whatever you want to do like that's the that's all gonna come inside like how you can communicate between background script content script and pop-up.js that's gonna come on next videos and this is all for background.script.js and it's up to you how you want to use it because there are lots of possibilities you can get from documentation and all the apis you can use and once you learn how to communicate between pop-up.js content script and all then you can use your imagination and create whatever you want so it's just the basic okay so see you on the next video and i'll discuss the context menu that's also inside you can create inside background uh, script.js so bye bye